This has been conducted in the St Andrews and Bow Bowing areas of Campbelltown, where we believe that the body of the um, infant may have been placed in refuse. Our original appeal has resulted in some information from the public. Uh, however, we'd like to renew that appeal in the hope that a member of the public may be able to shed some light on the identity of the mother. We believe that the mother um, would have been due to give birth in March of this year, 2009 and uh, she would have given birth around the 11th of February. We believe that the mother may have visited or passed through or maybe even resides in the Campbelltown area. And what we're asking is that we're seeking information with respect to the two mothers who may have gone missing or have recently given birth and where the baby hasn't been sighted. Uh, as of 1pm today, Investigators will be conducting uh, canvassing in the uh, Campbelltown area, and residences in and around Campbelltown. Um, that's pretty much. Was anything found with, with the baby that, that might lead might lead you to any clues as to who the mother may be? Uh, look, uh, some articles were found uh, with the baby. Um, we're not disclosing that at this stage. Uh, and we're relying on the appeal to the public. Come forward to anyone who may come who has information to come forward in relation to uh, we're particularly keen on on uh, mothers in and around that date um, who, who may have been pregnant obviously um, there's no there's no record or no evidence of, uh, of a baby. Do you know how old she may The mother? No. Have you been speaking to any of the hospitals to maybe determine if she may have visited? one of them during her pregnancy? Yes, look, we've been in close contact with uh, uh, all the hospitals in the area and uh, including uh, some of the medical centres as well. And you mentioned more information that came from the public. What was that? Uh, look, it was it was not uh, substantial in, in uh, giving us a, uh, you know, a direct lead, yep. but it was helpful in terms okay. of some, uh, you know, some general uh, information. So I can't sure. be more specific than that. Okay. So have you spoken to residents in that area, in St Andrews, and we think that um, possibly the baby was put? Have you spoken to some already? You mentioned... Yeah, look, we, 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 can, we, can, we started the canvassing uh, last week, late last week, uh, and as I say, we're continuing that again today, um, at one, about, one, about one o'clock. Um, and again, we're hoping that um, someone in, in around that area may have noticed something and uh, may be able to give us a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a lead. Sure. Yes. And, and any of the uh, constables that you've spoken to, I mean, what have they said word back from the community? I mean, how have people been reacting to it when they have... Oh, look, I think it's... In, in terms of the general uh, Cairns community, I think it's... Uh, um, yeah, most people are uh, surprised and, and obviously... Um, uh, uh, I guess surprise is the, is, is the biggest issue. Mm. Um, and does your concern for the mother still centre around the fact she gave birth without medical attention or do you think she might have fallen victim? Yeah, look, very much hour? so. We, we still have uh, concerns about the mother's health and again that's why we're anxious for her to come forward so we can assist in that, in that regard. You don't think she's fallen foul to foul play? Look, we've got uh, all, all lines of inquiry are open at this stage. Was the baby born alive, still born? We haven't got any evidence on that. Um, again, we're waiting for the final um, forensic conclusions to come back. Were there any injuries? It's difficult to determine whether they're actually injuries or, or uh, there were marks, um, but we're not quite sure at this stage uh, how, how that uh, how they came about. Whereabouts were those marks? Well, I can't go into that. Was it a boy or a girl? Boy. When are those forensic tests expected back? Uh, again, we've got no, no cons uh, concise date on that. But we're expecting something back in the next uh, few weeks. You've obviously spoken with uh, doctors probably. Um, w would a woman at that stage, she would be visibly pregnant? People would have known that she was due to give birth at that stage? Look, I'd imagine that uh, coming to the end of a pregnancy would be fairly obvious. Um, and again, that's why we're going to the, to the community for uh, some uh, some help and assistance in that regard. And what are you, what are you looking for? I mean, people that perhaps have seen... Well, we're that. looking for information that uh, you know, a mother somewhere uh, was obviously pregnant and um, uh, has, has disappeared and there's no record of uh, the baby uh, or a mother who, who was pregnant um, and again there's, there's no evidence of a, of a baby. When are you expecting a postmortem back? 
the post-mortem? We've got some initial, we've got the initial post-mortem results back, but uh, we're, we're anticipating some more test results to come back over the next uh, few weeks. It's an unusual case this, isn't it? It's been a week. Um, often these things are sort of resolved before then. Look, it is unusual. Um, you know, it's our expectation that, you know, obviously someone would have come forward, um, particularly bearing in mind the medical condition of the mother. Um, so it's surprising in that regard. Ian, is it quite possible that it could be someone from outside the area? We're not ruling that out. That, that, that is a possibility. Um, and although our focus is in, in and around the Camden area, there is always that possibility that uh, the mother may have come from outside the area.